This is the Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today's show is Chris P. Chris is one of the patron team members, and he is new to sim racing and even newer to iRacing. And we, in two weeks, have the 24 hour of Le Mans series and, uh, or endurance race, 24 hours. And Chris would very much like to be part of that team. So we are here today to get him comfortable and uh, find him a little more speed on the track and see if we can't get him to the point where he, he feels like he really wants to run in that race. So, hey, Chris, how you doing today? Very good. You? I'm doing well. This is sort of a first for me. I, I've done plenty of behind-the-scenes coaching. I've done some paid coaching. And I've never really done anything live involving people more than just the person I was trying to help out. So uh, thank you for taking part in our uh, guinea, pig, guinea pig experiment of, you know, can we uh, get you faster and do it with people watching over our shoulder to see what we're doing. So uh, I want you to th I, I want to thank you for uh, for taking a chance on me here. <laughs> oh, no problem. My pleasure. So real quick, before we do get out on track, and we're going to get right to track, because this is today more about driving than talking. We'll do some talking. We will uh, work on various different things. But the main thing is to get out on track. But what we're going to do today is I want to see... I want to show Chris my driving line around the track, number one, some of my braking points, some of my gearing, uh, and what I'm doing. And then I want to watch him drive, and then we'll also do some lead follow, so we can do that all up to speed as well. Uh, but at w various points, I'm going to want to watch him drive just to see exactly what he's doing. Sometimes I might do that from in my car behind him. Sometimes I might do that from TV camera. And it will just sort of, uh, we'll use various different techniques to kind of help him improve what he's doing. So, Chris, before we get on track, what is your best lap time so far? A 4.06.4. 4.06.4. 4. And do you know what your optimal is? 4.023. Okay. Now, my real goal, and this might be a little too much for today, but I'm shooting for, and not to put any pressure on you, I would like to see us get you down to that optimal of a 4.02 which would be really good because then with this weekend, we can probably knock a little bit more off of that. Ultimately, if we get you to a four-minute comfortable point, four-minute flat, I think that's right in the ballpark where you need to be uh, to be on, on that team. It's just a matter of getting you comfortable as well. So we have some work to do, but I think it's all doable on a four-minute you know, track. We do It is a long way around here at Spa, 8.47 miles, 38 turns. So there's a lot of opportunity to gain speed. Thank Le you, Mans. Stan. I hope we're not in the wrong track. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the right one. Uh, Stan, just so you know, this is going to be a private session, me and Chris, for one hour. And then in one hour, I will open up the room for the remaining 50 or 45 or 50 minutes for anybody to join. Um, but it is Chris that I'm specifically coaching, but we could do this for other team members as well. This is sort of just a trial. All right, Chris. So what I'm going to do now... I'm, I've switched to a new wheel and pedal, and I haven't even warmed up on them yet, so I'm not expecting miracles from myself yet. Um, but what I want to do is kind of show you where I and what I look for on the track, because there are some tricky things about uh, Le Mans that, that, you know, can really help and hurt a lap time. Uh, gearing, I'll have to get up to speed before I can give you perfect gearing in terms of what I do. Um... We'll come back to how we enter turn one. One thing I want to show you is, actually, on your left. before we even oh, go, yeah. let me give you one more tip about this car. One thing I've learned about this car and the setup we have right now, it is a little bit loose. Uh, okay. It is really loose under heavy trail braking. And I use the word heavy on purpose. You're a racer, you uh, yep. understand trail braking. This car really likes excessive straight line braking, minimal trail braking, like trail brake only for the purpose of keeping the nose down on the ground because you will induce oversteer, and then really okay. letting the car coast. So at this track and the 24 hour configuration, you're gonna coast a little more than you would in a sprint race, but from apex okay. out, you can pretty much get really aggressive on the gas. Um, okay. Once you get a handle of the car. All right, that's all. I just want to say that while we had no engine nut buzz now the main thing about this corner it's actually turn two i'm not going to try to count 38 you can actually get pretty aggressive on this corner um right side Clear and the reason the right. i'm telling you that is you can actually i'd almost say cut like here i felt that bump but it wasn't that big a deal 
But you right. can get very aggressive in order to set up the, the right hander, which is the more important corner of the two. Because you really do want to set up, and this corner here and getting a good rollout and good speed, that's why I'm going to scrub speed and even cut on the corner before. This okay. is a very long run, and you can go full throttle. I might sometimes give a little confidence lift of 10% for the right. I'm okay. going to brake early, and I'm going to let the car coast. I don't trail brake at all for this corner at all, because the cavern corner will really, really crazy oversteer. All right? Okay. Setting up for this, we're going to get wide, obviously. We're going to go through this a few times. I just want you to see it at slow speed. But you want to hit that inside curbing. Sorry. I hit the okay. brake. I'm going a little too fast at the moment of the corner. You, uh, We'll do it again at, at better speed. But... You, you cannot cross over to the inside or you're going to get a cut. But you do have to get that curbing in order to get as much of the track as you want. And I didn't show you the rollout either. So I'm going to slow down a lot more for the next chicane to show you. I, I So we can actually get up to speed a little bit. I'll tell you when I'm going to slow down. Okay. Now this next chicane is where I, again, you're going to want to brake earlier than you think. Get your straight line braking done heavy. Slight trail braking for the right, and then you should be off the gas. I'm going to slow down a lot now. So for me, my braking point on this one, and I start from this white line. I'm not off in that soft concrete over there. Ends okay. up being about right here. Ah, sorry. That's okay. We're not worried <laughs> about damage. But yeah, I'm usually about 20 yards before the 100-yard marker. Heavy, heavy, heavy braking all the way okay. down to the cone here. And at the cone, I'm going to be trail braking lightly just to make sure I get my nose steering. And I'm going to use a bit of this curbing here on the right. And again, it's all about... Ah! It's okay. Didn't expect that. It's all about setting up the left because I don't Got care it. what you do on that right. I just don't. I mean, even if you came to a screeching halt, it's all about getting your car here so that you can almost be on the gas from here you might need to feather a little bit to make sure you stay to the left and you can really cream the heck out of this curb but the lighter you are on it the more speed you'll carry if you cream okay. the curb it'll rob your momentum just a little bit same thing i'm gonna go fast i'm gonna stop completely at about the, the first braking marker okay this straightaway obviously it's a wash but we wanted to carry as much speed as we could All right, slowing down and stopping. 300, 200, about the same point at first. You can start cheating this one a little more because you're not carrying quite as much speed or the braking's better, the angle's not as sharp ahead, but same thing. At about 120, I'm on the brakes hard, hard, hard on the brakes. At the cone, I'm gonna have reduced my braking, hopefully. And I can do just a touch of trail braking to control speed and to keep the nose down. You can use a lot of this left curb, but again, right. you're setting up the right. Now this right curbing, I don't like to touch it much at all. I mean, you can get a little bit on the edge, that's fine, but it's a big enough bump to push you wide. If you hit this inside curb, your car right. gets sent over here and you cannot recover in time to make the left. If you okay. do it right, I'm backing up just a hair, not too much because I don't want to get DQ'd. You should be able to come out further over here because you didn't hit the curbing. You late apexed it, and you were already on the gas full throttle. And you can kind of hit that curb as much as you want, but again, less will carry more speed in this car. Okay. All right. We're going to go full speed. I'm going to brake way early because the next one is a little more critical. I mean, the chicanes... It's slow down for the entry, maximize the middle so that you can get a great exit. Cause it's kind of their three part chicanes almost. All right, stopping, stopping. All right, this corner, you are flying at this corner. All right, and it's yep. a scary corner. All right, <laughs> I do not even touch the brake though until the cone. And you can even go beyond the cone if you wanted to. But I, my angle of attack is from here. I'm going to turn okay. the wheel slightly before I brake. I'm going to give a little bit of straight line right here so that I can give some heavy braking. 
Okay. I'm going to carry the straight line under braking to here and maybe even just a slight release of the brake as I straighten out and brake a little more. And by here, you should already be turning because we're at speed. And you do okay. want to, I, uh, this corner, slow it down so that you can keep the car all the way over here and roll it out. Everybody pushes yep. wide on that corner and takes one, two, three tenths on exit right there. Right. All right. All right, we're halfway around and then we're going to get new cars and then we're going to go out at medium speed so you can see it in action and then we're going to bring it up and then I'm going to flip around and let you lead the way. All right, this next corner is another tricky corner that is a big deal. I'm slowing down, slowing down. Obviously, again, we're going to enter from wide. I'm stopping at the 300. Okay. Or 200, sorry. All right. I treat this part in two... I treat this corner in two parts. It is a really right. fast corner, but you do have to slow down. So I am hitting the brakes about here, well after the 100, all right? Okay. And it's just a brush of the brake, but I can't hold it for any trail braking. Brake, brake, right. brake, release, coast, right. get over here, and then touch the brake again when you're a straight line. Do not hit the brake coming off that right, or you will end up in the right wall. You have to yep. get the car straightened out, and I do that by braking coasting and then braking again okay all right now i'm not saying everybody is doing this this is just my way i'm fairly quick i'm down to second gear for this corner by the way you yep. want to hug it tight get a good run you can get a good little straight away i can get up to fourth gear sometimes here all right yep but regardless you're going to break about here about 60 maybe slow okay. it down just like that other right hander you got to slow it down enough and be here Everyone's going to end right. up over in the gravel, losing three-tenths on exit. Get it here so you can get on the gas hard. And go ahead and use this runoff if you want. It won't hurt. hurt. you got plenty of room to work with. Get a good run. Second gear through those corners. I never use first. Some people do. Okay. All right. Next corner. This is the hardest corner on the track for a lot of people. I'm going to just kind of cruise through because all you got to do here is give a little bit of break, not a lot, right. slow it down, be patient, let the turn in happen, and then just downshift one. You don't even need to do anything, and then by here, you're on the gas again. People over break for that corner, and two got things it. happen. They either induce the oversteer. I'm going to stop real quick. They, yep. they either induce oversteer by over braking it because it gets nose heavy, or... Yep they uh um um or they cause they lock them up and they actually cause a push and end up in the outside gravel trap all you have yep. to do is slow the car down a little and then let the car friction its way off the rest of the speed all right got it okay you're gonna be full throttle coming through that left behind us um maybe a confidence lift of 10 or 20 percent but no more you can do full throttle if you got the line down you're gonna come out wide and the critical thing here is when you get off the gas, because I'm going to get off the gas about here right. and coast, and that's going to allow me to, A, make this apex and not push wide. A lot of on the throttle will do it. And continue right. to just coast and let it bleed oh, off speed, bleed off it. speed, bleed off speed. Maybe just a touch of brake here and there, but no more. It's just like a feather of brake. And then for this left, when you get the line right, you should be at full throttle again, maybe at a slight confidence lift, that's all. Okay. Full throttle all the way through here. Now, these chicanes, people really over, over break for these chicanes. I'm okay. Slow it down, slow it down. Yep. I am sitting right here in fifth gear flying at fifth gear at this point okay. here i'm gonna break hard but all i have to do is get it down to a reasonable pace in third gear all right okay i am third gear and coasting through these chicanes with a lot of speed little bit of curbing's okay keep a tight line 
And then if you've done that, you will have bled off enough speed where just a tap of the brake will be enough. Down to second. No curbing. <laughs> uh, no curbing. And go. All right? Okay. Let me show okay. you turn one, then let's get new cars. <laughs> I mean, way outside wide. Some people go off in the curbing. I don't find it necessary. I will give a lift of the throttle to make the right tight enough to get the car to here. You gotta get lift to side. here to set up Clear on the left. turn Got two. Alright? Okay. So even if you lift for the corner, the car will stick if you stay full throttle, I believe. It's just you're it going to push wide and you're going to get all crisscrossed and you're going to end up hitting the total sign on the right if you try to brake when you're still coming off that corner. You got a straight okay. light brake to get it the most out of the car. And then again, this corner, we're going to brake, 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 turn into second gear. Well, I'm third and I shift to second about here. All right. Got it. And then I'm focusing everything is all about that right and getting a good late apex and go because it's a straightaway with curves. All right, let's get new cars and go out at medium speed. <coughs> this time it's gonna be more about the line than the braking points. Well, I'm, I might be able to remember some of the exact gearing. I'll try to just call it out as I go. Let's just go up to about third gear. I'll have to slow down okay. a little bit, but so we're gonna be oh we're gonna get a black flag for that probably i think yep so. still hasn't we're gonna be over here in third gear and braking third gear to the apex second gear wide line get this apex and go 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 all right yep hug the left side a little lift and shoot like i lift for the turn in then i'm right back on the gas Touch of the brake, no trail braking, third gear through here. Oh, they're showing us oh, the I got black, the black flag. flag. You didn't okay. exit the That's pitch fine. safely. That's fine. We need to make a stop and go. One more time. Sorry about that. No problem. Same thing. We'll be working third to second gear speeds only. Eh, maybe up to fourth. So again, we're going to have that right. wide approach and a lift to keep it tight into one. We're going to be in fifth gear. Brakes, brakes, brakes down to third. Make this cut a little bit down to second and go as soon as we can see out of the corner. We're going to be up to fourth gear. A lift, turn, and gas is how to make the car hook up there. Straight line brake and coast. Once we're hooked up, we can get on the gas really aggressive if you hold the wheel sharp. All right. It's going to be a little bit of brake, not less than you think if you can get the line right. That's the line, but we carry it out there. You don't want to go too far off to the left or you're going to get a cut. We'll cover that at full speed later. All right. We can kind of turn to the right a little bit here. It doesn't really matter too, too much. Getting out here. Sixth gear. Remember, 120. 120, we're going to be hard on the brakes in a straight line to the cone, down to second gear at the apex of the corner. Brakes, 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 no lockup, no lockup, take it to apex, and get ready to go, 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 go. You might have to feather a little bit just to make sure you don't get too much curbing, because a big bounce will rob you more than a lift. Lift of only just enough to control it and get some front end grip. All right, up to full speed. Same thing. We're going to brake at the 120-ish mark. Hard straight line braking. No lockup. No lockup. Hard straight line braking to the cone. Ride it a little to second gear. Late apex this. No curbing and go, 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 go. You can curb the left. Yeah, I got a little no-no, because -no. I came right on that left-hand side. I went a little wide. You can cut well, but not too, too much. But you can definitely cross that curbing a bit. All right. All right. This one, we're going to get aggressive. We're going to give a hint of breaking right at the cone. 
straight line braking, straight line, let go of the brake a little bit, brake more down to second gear and hold it tight and go. Everyone pushes wide. Nice. Everyone is too late there. All day you'll watch people go wide and you're like, oh, I got you by the end of the straightaway for sure. Go ahead and hug that. No curbing. That bounce doesn't help. I'm not going to hurt you, but it doesn't help. So, out here now. Just a touch of the brake right after the 100. Straight line brake and release. Let the car settle, straighten, and then brake down to second gear. And you can just slingshot so hard out of this corner when you do it right. Up to fourth brake at about 60. Make sure you get on that bumper and get in tight and go. Ah, oh, cool. We have to look at that document for sure. I guess Steam showed us a document with all the cut points. All right, we're starting out out wide, Chris. Out wide. At the 100, just a little bit of break. And then coast. Let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Down to fourth and go. Ah. Let off the gas to let it turn. Don't hit the wall like I did. And again, just let it bleed off this speed. A little bit of throttle just to kind of control. And you can really cut and go when you get the line there. You can really get aggressive on that left curbing. Really aggressive. But don't go wide. It'll cut. You're going to get up to fifth gear. Braking hard to third. Controlled speed in third. And then coast through the thing. You can even give it a little gas to straighten it out. Tap of the brake to second. Whoops, no curbing, and go. All right. Yep. Let's go, go, go. We're going to stay wide, not too wide. We're going to release for turn in for one. Just to let go of the gas, let it get a good line, and break. Straight line, straight line, third, second, and a good exit off this corner is essential. Everything is about that exit. Up to fourth, let go, and gas. Back into the corner. Straight line brake. Coasting in third. Get on the gas strong. Smooth and strong. Just make sure you turn the wheel. Little bit of brake. Kiss that curbing on the right. Let it roll uh, out. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> All good. I'm sorry. Lucky these are free cars. Let's see what this thing's drives like. Oh, this is a little interesting. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right out. Okay. I'll, I'll meet you at that. Okay. I'm right here. Yep. All right. I don't mind going through here. We're going to have Y. We're going to be wide. We're going to lift for one. Get the car straight and parallel with the right side from fifth gear, breaking to third. Straight line braking. Let's cut this corner down to second and get a. Oh, I'm late. Great run off of the corner. Got up, it. Up to fourth gear. Do you know what I mean by the lift, turn, and push right here? Yep. The car, ah. the car just hooks That's up new. so well if you time it right. It just like puts it right into the corner. And again, yeah, go ahead. just remember no trail braking here. Everyone loops it here. They trail bake and right here. It just goes around. Just coast, and you can start bringing on the gas right there, full throttle. Just keep turning right. It doesn't want to, but it will. A touch of the brake. Hit this. You're going to come out wide on the gas already like that. That's our line. That's our safe line. No cut all day long. We can go faster, but we can't cut because we only get four per hour cuts over the course of 24 hours. Full throttle, we're gonna break at the 120, down to third, turn for apex at the cone, second at the apex. 120, no lockup, hard braking, hard braking, release, release, come wide and bring on the gas and go, 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 baby, go. You don't even have to be that smooth. The smoother you are with the gas, the earlier you can get on it through that chicane. You just got to make sure you're going to clear that right curbing. Right. 
All right, full throttle. We're going to get up to 120. I mean, not 120. Yep. <laughs> At the 120, we're going to break straight line for the cone. Hard braking, no lockup. Plenty of time to get the braking done. A little more down to second. And bring it late, late, and go. So it's just on the gas and straight away from there. A new car, please. That's right. It happens. <clears throat> All right. This is the tricky corner. At the corner, at the cone, we're going to turn for apex and straight line break. It's a two-part corner for me. Straight, 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 straighten it out, down to second. Oh, right tight. on. You can really get aggressive when you get the line and the, like, release moment of the brake. You have to just release a little bit to make that second right turn. And then you set up for a really good last minute braking before you release for the apex. All right, this one, right after the 100. A touch of the brake, coast, Get right and straight, and then hard braking, straight line. Touch a brake. Coast. Straight line, braking to second. And slingshot with aggression out of that corner. Up to fourth, brake at the 60. Straight line, braking. Keep it slow and low. That is the tempo. Nah. Yeah, that's what everyone does all day right there, Chris. Yeah. And this is another straightaway. It's all about these straightaways here. I don't even care about the corners. I care about the straightaways. All right. Bleeding off speed from the 100 yard, 100 mark. Little bit of brake, little bit of brake. Late turn in, down to fourth. Let it coast. A little gas will help it get balanced. And then on the throttle. So when you're coasting and it starts to drift wide, you can give it just a touch of gas. All right? Got it. And it'll help, but it's a touch. It's 10%. And the car will hook up. Same thing through here. We're bleeding speed. And we can cut this curve and get over here. And it's a line like that. Full throttle through this chicane. Out to, up to fifth gear. We're going to break like 10 yards before that little uh, mark that breaks it. We're going to coast in third. I give a touch of gas to get it straight and then straight line brake just a little bit. No curb and go. All right. 75 for speed now. Fourth. Fifth. Lift a little bit. Straight line brake to third to second. A little bit of cut. Cut and go. Up to fourth. Lift, turn, and go. Straight line. Let it coast. Bring on that gas smooth and aggressive. Turn, turn, turn. Little scrub of the brake. Coast. Go, go, go. Yes, just like that, Chris. Yeah. I probably did a little bit too much cut. So I got to slow up. Okay. Your exit looked beautiful. So just a little less on the turn in at speed. It's harder. It's just finding the line, but it's going to be about that aggressive. We can uh, scrub it from the 300. We know this one. So we're going to break at the 120. Down to third by the cone. Easy trail breaking. No lockup. No lockup to second at the apex, keeping it wide, setting up our exit, smooth and aggressive, and go, go, go. Bring her over to the right. I'm at full, we're gonna get up to six, looking for the 120, 20 before the one. Break early in this car, that is, let it roll. This car corners really fast when you learn the speeds. Three, two, 120 straight line, no walk up to the cone, turn it in, down to second, I overbroke, late and smooth and go. Straight line that, relatively. All right, here we come to our two-part right-hander. 
right after the 100. We're going to straight line break for the apex. Break, 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 straighten out, break, and low. Well, there you go, Chris. There you go. That's it. Full throttle. We're going. We're going. All right. This is the uh, coast of the corner. A little bit of balanced throttle will help set the car after we coast. So in reality, let me call it out. We're going to have a straight line break, coast, little gas, and brakes. Brakes, ah. brakes. Yeah, that's the one corner that gets me. And I know I over brake coming into it. So, so let me break back up a little bit and think in my head. So I'm crossing the 100. I'm doing some brake, uh, straight line braking, and then I release. I let okay. the car roll through the corner, and as soon as I'm at apex, I'm at about 10% gas to get the car to settle and track on all four wheels. That and I was I was about five feet off apex, so oh, yeah. that pushed me out. So yep. I just got to get that line a little bit yep. better to dial in. So I'll meet up with you. Give me a second. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the pits. Hold on. Uh, the other thing is, let's say you do that and you end up offline. You're you're late there. All right. Right. All you're going to do is just you're going to give up on the next corner. And what you're going to do is you're going to just stay out there where you ended up wide, but you're going to get the car straightened out so that you can break it in a straight line. Because if you are turned at all trying to get back to the right, if you right. if you even touch the brake at all right then, it's going to go do what it did to you. Doesn't matter right. where Flip you are. Around. Yep. You got to get it straight before you even touch the brake pedal. So if you're going to be wide, that's okay. You're going to mess up the next corner. You're going to salvage braking in a straight line to the inside. And then you're just going to do a different version of slow and low for that left. But it's okay because you're going to save the car. And you won't Got take it. too big of a penalty there either. All right. Do you want to lead for a while? Or do you want to sure. keep doing what you're doing and go faster? No. Then I can see what you're doing. Ah. Slow car ahead, car <laughs> stops ahead. Go Just do right. your thing, do your thing. Don't worry about me. I wanna drive behind you and see where you're placing your car. I could just do this okay. from a TV camera, but this is a little more fun. Same thing, you're gonna lift, turn and go. Straight line break down to third, let it coast, bring on the gas, you went yeah. And if you yep, go wide, fine. you just can't bring the gas on as early. Not a bad line. Not a bad line except for the wide entry. You were in the Got dirt it. on entry, but everything after that looked great. Looking for the 120 straight line braking to the cone. Down to third. Turn for apex. Down to second and apex. Keep it wide smooth and aggressive throttle application to get out. Straight line, straight line, straight line. A little bit of trail brake. There you go. There you go. Smooth and easy. You're a little late, so you had to go longer. That's okay. Not bad, Chris. Not bad at all. Just time that left entry a little earlier, and that would have been beautiful. You might have been a little earlier, a little strong on the gas. That might have pushed you a little wide there. Same thing. Looking for the 120 straight line down to third. No lockup. No lockup. Keep on the brake. Keep it wide. Keep it wide. There you go. Beautiful. A little wide. Same thing. You're just going to have to turn right a little sooner. Just like on the one before, you had to turn left a little sooner for corner two of the three. Might have been a little aggressive on the gas. Again, 10% yeah, versus 30. 30% 30 yeah. will give you understeer. You gotta get it, you know, just enough to get it going, but barely. Straight line break, straight line break. Good, good. A uh, little wider, a little wider. Aim for that cone. You can aim for that orange cone on the left as your target okay. for braking. It's also when you want to be turning in for the corner on that one. Not bad, though. That was fine. That wasn't bad at all. The 
it's going to be a little brake, coast, a little gas, and then heavy brake. I do downshift to fifth there. A little ah. bit of... It's right, the same thing. It, it almost trips me up almost every time. So Let me go so back you... and look at one thing on your replay on that real quick. I want front ch I want chase view and I want to watch okay I want you to queue up so you're at about 150 yard mark going into that corner and I want you on chase view let me know when you have that queued up do you know how to do that yep I'm right there okay go ahead and hit play and then pause again at the hundred Okay, I'm at the hunter. Well, you are uh, you are eight feet right where you need to be. Get okay, that, get that that's, car. That's, that, yeah, get it so that you're on that left red stripe. Not too much over it because we're not trying to be ridiculous here. But get it right. so you're kissing that red stripe. Give yourself a little more angle of attack. All right. Okay. Right. Uh, pause it for fifth. Uh, go fifty meters. Actually, there's a. Sl frame by frame and i'm way i'm way to the right so yeah, i'm already you're, yeah you're I'm already i see what i'm doing wrong yep. so i need to turn in later late apex yep. late turn in yep um push the car over will give yep. me a better angle of attack yep to this corner yep just be a little more patient on that one you'll be fine oh and you can already see before the apex i'm at i don't know 25 feet, 25 yards before, no, uh, probably like 100 feet before the apex. And you can already see the back end starting to step out. Right. Yeah, and it's because you kind of hit that hump. There's that hump in that corner because it's cambered so much. And you're hitting it with your front end not having turned much at all yet. Or you're, you're aggressively, it's like you're now overly aggressively turning the wheel because you're late. You know, you're early, early and late. You're early apex late on the corner. Um, and then you it. bounce it a little bit. And then that kiss yeah. of death, you cannot touch the brake with the wheel turned right. All right. Let's try this again. Right. Actually, I am going to watch. You go out without me. I'm going to watch okay. you from... Uh, Ah, you're right. Hang on a second. Let me start this over again. All right. Also, you're on cold tires, so don't worry about it. Just get the line, not the speed. Right. And you can get on this curbing a little bit to the right, but if you use it too much, it makes the car a little unstable. Man. Yeah, you're not slowing down enough, and then you looped it again. Ah, uh, hang on. When you know on, you're late right. on a corner, you're better off increasing your straight line braking instead of just trying to turn. Oh, trying to make force the turn? Yeah, just that's not there. Yeah, if it's not there, give it another ten feet of braking and then turn, and then you won't loop as much. Brakes, 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 brakes. Down to second gear for this. And just a little late. You gotta get your left right a little quicker there. Keep it all the way left. Off and go. Straight line brake. Coast, 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 and go. Little touch of the brake, little little too early. You get a cut yeah. there? Yeah. No, I didn't get a cut there. I had to turn left uh -huh. to rebalance the car. Okay. But not bad. Or if you didn't get a cut, then you did well. All right. Good placement. Stay right there. Looking for the 120. Brake hard. No lockup. up. 
Uh, then increase your straight line whenever that, whenever you get that ah, that means increase your straight line braking. Don't force turn in. Why did you lift early, Chris? I um, just want to focus on the line. Okay. Not bad. That was a good line. That was a really good line, Chris. All right. This is our straight line. You're going to straight line for the cone. Just a little ease of the brake so you can straighten it out. And then harder on the brake and make sure it's slow and low. You got to go slow on this corner. Not too slow, but I mean you got to keep it low or you've gone too fast good speed just a little late that would have been fine you just got to work out the timing there turn a little quicker off that cone all right here comes the tough corner break down to fifth coast turn brakes maybe a hint of gas after the turn for balance Get your balance, then break. Later, later, a little later, a little later. You're okay. Straight, straight, straight. Scrub the corner. That's the right idea. You can probably get your braking done and turn in, but that, you saved it. Keep it low. Keep it uh, a little too early on turn in. Okay. You're, we're going to need a little patience from you. When you think you're going to turn, just wait a half a second more. <laughs> Alright, keep it wide after the 100. A little bit of break. Be patient for turn in and scrub speed. A little bit of balance throttle for balance. Later, later, later. Turn, turn, turn. On the gas. 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 Off the gas. Ah. You want to go wider? I think there's a, I I think there's a little delay in on the gas and off the gas. <laughs> Full throttle. 20 yards before the split on the paint for print lane entrance. Hard on the brakes to third and then coast. Coast. Broke early. Yeah. A little bit of gas to straighten her out. Brake, brake to second. Ah. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. A little bit of brake lock up there for you. Not bad. It's a tough corner. If you can do it without cutting, I'm less concerned about being super fast, even though it's an important corner. Ignore me. I'm just watching you. You drive. Keep your eyes forward. Don't worry about the mirror. Straight line braking it all the way to third by the cone. Trail braking to second by apex. Good job, Chris. Good job. Looking for the 120. Boom, 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 boom. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Late. A little too late, but... 
Got to work on that left-right speed. That's all. Okay. You got it. You got it. Straight for the cone. Straight line braking for the cone. Keep it wide. Late turn in. Keep it low. Good, good, good. Turn, turn, turn. Nice. There you go. They say you cut the course. You'll have to slow down and give up the time gain. Right there. I cut. You did great. All right. Here it comes. Brake, downshift, coast, gas, brakes. <laughs> Not too much to remember. Keep it wide, just a scrub of the brake, lead off speed, and use balance throttle to maintain your line. Oh, I'm late. I'm late. lift to set up one straight line breaking to be at second at the apex cut that corner cut that corner Chris ah you're late late get that right and go get that right and go nice recovery considering you were late on the entry you did a great job of recover Good job, good job. Wide, oh! Ah, uh, uh, car, please. Come on. Car, please. Uh, let me take a break real quick. I'll be right back, 30 okay. seconds. No problem, I'm gonna go to the bathroom myself, so give me one minute. I'm old. All right, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Getting old is not uh, any fun. You there, Chris? Yeah, I'm already out. Oh, okay. Out on track. 
Ah, oh, then I'll watch you. Wide on two. Wide on yeah, two. I do. We're gonna have to not do that anymore. We're gonna have to just say, okay, we're not gonna be wide. Even if we're too slow, let's not be wide again, right? Okay. Yep. Good, 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 good. Gas, gas. As soon as you know you have that line, you can charge. <laughs> no pro no prostate exam here. No way. Nice, good, good, patient, go, go. That was good. That was good, Chris. It was really good breaking. Beautiful though. That was the best one I've seen from you there. I know I slowed down a little too much, but I'm too early. You're good. Good save. Good save. Good save. Go. Not bad. Not bad, Chris. Slow it down. Slow it. Slow and low. Slow and low. There you go. Good recovery. You were hot and you stayed on the brake. Good job. Go on the gas, go on the gas, go on the gas, let off the gas, a little bit of balance throttle, balance throttle, down to fourth, down to fourth, go. Coast, coast, go, go. You can go a lot faster there, just coast. Same thing here. That was the right speed, just the wrong line, but that was the right speed for the final. The previous chicane, you could have carried another 20 miles an hour easy. Get off the brake and let it coast, just take your line. Drive the car through there. Hard brakes, hard brakes, hard brakes, hard brakes. Turn. Turn. Go. Yes. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Coast. Go. Go, 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 go. Turn that wheel, go. Go.
Go, 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 go. Not bad. Get a little more aggressive middle of that section so that you can get out sooner. All you had to do was be a little more aggressive. Turn that wheel. Manhandle that car a little bit once you have it under control. But good line, good line. It's getting better, Chris. Too early. Yep, yep. It's cool. It's okay. Make it a better e exit then. Go, go. You're late. Yeah, saw that. I do that too. I early break and then I end up late on exit. It's like, how did I do that? All right, you've been nailing this car, this corner beautifully. Just do what you've been doing. Great. Any cut there? None. Awesome. That was beautiful. That's a really hard corner, and you're, like, charging that one with aggression. I love it. It's beautiful. You're really good there. All right. Let's keep that tight line on this one. Let's be a late on at apex. Break. Coast. Turn. A little bit of balanced throttle, and then hard on the brakes. Nice. There. There. Straight. Break. Break. Break turn much better you'll get off the brake a little sooner next time and keep a tighter line you were at the speed right there you go 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 hey chris how you doing let's be patient on this one you've been early so be patient on that turn in Little break to scrub some speed. Nope, too early. Too early, Chris. Gas, gas. Go, 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 go. Coast. Ah! You're doing that corner upside down. <laughs> Come on. How is two hours up already? I have no idea. I started the room too soon, that's how. Um, I, Something got in my head, and you know what it is, right? What? I'm assuming you saw my view. I've been watching from your uh, chase view. Oh, up by three. Oh, I couldn't see that. Three seconds? Yeah. Oh. All right. Hang on a second. Do you have more driving in you? Oh yeah. Let me go start another room real quick. You yeah, if you want to bring if you want to bring other people in, that's cool. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I don't have a problem. Okay. Everyone will see me set up the room. I'll give you the command. You can stay there and turn another lap until it kicks you or take a break. It'll take about. Right, I'll take a break and I'll minutes. be back in two. All right. Yeah, but. Uh, Hang on. You're uh, at, you're gonna run a 402. Your next like lap. Your next yeah. Clean lap. I can feel it. Uh, yeah. I think it's kicking me out. Okay. I'm starting another one right now. I'll have to change a few. But things. uh, yeah. My optimal lap was like a at the you know crash point. You were fast all the way up until the time you crashed. <laughs> <laughs> um. But, uh, yeah, you gave me some really good pointers. I'd like to pick this up again on next Friday. Um, do another one of these. Um, but if you want to open up a room and just open it up and it just let guys practice, that'd be great. Yeah, so anybody watching, I am setting this up. Uh, let's see, we are late afternoon, if I'm not mistaken. Um... I'm going to set up a two-hour practice. I know uh, Stan was going to set something up. Stan, do you want me to just set this up for four hours? Our password is go pa fast, so anybody who's watched the stream will actually be privy to practicing with the SimPit crew. Um, we're only going to have one car option because we're all testing and driving the car we want. It's not a fixed setup. Uh, 
it's going to be practice only, and it's going to set it up for four hours, so the guys can all have this room. Four hours. And then you can go do one or two more laps that I can watch before I run off for lunch. Okay. Um, no, that was extremely helpful, Sean. Awesome. Awesome. I mean... You know, I know the speed is there. I just don't know where to pick it. Well, and again, it's just now it's just putting one together. I liked your line. You were doing much better. Uh, the, the the observations that I'm going to make. Um, turn one, you're fine. And when you do it fine, it sets up two very nicely. Uh, let me see what... Uh... Oh, I'll get it, Stan. I'll, I'll cover it, no problem. Oh, yeah, I got morning. Thank you, thank you, bud. Um, I better hit go or we won't get out there. Then I'll give you my uh, thoughts real quick and then send you Final back thoughts. out there. Yeah. Uh, four cool. hours. I think this is all set up right. And I'm going to start it now, not at five. Morning. All right, give it a couple minutes. Anybody watching, the password is go fast. This is the Sim Pit practice server for the 24 hours. Hopefully I set it up all right. If not, I'll have to buy another room. Um, you can see we already have our Watkins Glen room set up, ready to go for later. Yep, looks like it's all good. Okay, okay. so now that'll give me a minute to tell you. So turn one, you know, you're li it's a lift. Get over to the right, straighten it out, hard braking. And then that last time you made the left really well. Every time okay. earlier you've you've uh, overshot the corner, so just break earlier off of one. Right. Cut that corner, not too much. I mean, I I, I say cut because I want you on that left curbing, keeping a sharp angle. And as soon as you get off that curbing, you're almost already ready to make the right because you can take that right inside curbing a little bit aggressively as well, and get a okay. great run coming off of that. You're cool down the hill. You're really nice through the left, except for that one time when you just got a little too aggressive, and I'm not sure if that was just a keep turning or a back out of the throttle scenario, but that was the only... You looked good through there every time. The right-hander, you got the right idea. You're going to find a little more t speed there with just a few more times through it, you know, when you're like, okay, now I know the line. You'll be able to right. carry another 20 miles an hour there. The first chicane is the right left right last time through you looked really good you could have kept it a little bit tighter which was your problem was making the left soon enough you're getting the right and you're you're doing really good braking really good turn in for the right and you're just late for the left and that's kind of holding you from getting on the gas and skipping the right if you get on if you turn for the left a little bit earlier but what i liked was you had the right angle you had gotten your car all the way to the right and straightened out so that you could make that left turn now just okay. do it a blink of an eye per sooner, and you have that corner perfectly. Uh, next chicane, left, right, left. Um, I think you are pretty consistently going in a little early on the break. So if you've been in your mind thinking 120, back that down to 110. You know, okay. Like, you know, a little closer to the 100. Keep that same thing, braking straight line for the cone, down to third gear for the cone, little hint of trail braking just to set up that left and then same thing you got to turn right sooner but you're doing it right because you're working from shooting for that late apex instead of carving it too soon because okay. you have a there are a few corners that you are carving too soon those right you have the great line great idea turn in sooner all right the straight line braking for the cone corner you have right. that perfectly don't change anything You'll just find you can steal a little more speed here and there, carry a little more on the right when you have the turn in right. Uh, you'll be able to break just a hair later. Yeah, if you that too. And then the next corner, which is we'll call it the break late, you know, break drown shift, coast break break break. Um, what you really told me made a lot of sense, which is move over to the left more, hug the left side, you know, as you come in to make the attack more of a gentle attack instead of I got to attack this corner and now I got to decrease basically 
decrease the radius of what I'm carrying through that corner. Right. Not increase the radius. And, and um, you you are really consistently not only starting wide enough, but you are also starting to really turn in early, like on a long angle. Like it wasn't even a full turn in. It was like just a right. cheater turn in. And it was just, it was like really taking you too far to the right and making it a really sharp turn. Right. Um, stay late, stay wide. Then following that, the left-hander, the left-hander just comes with getting the braking off that right-hander. Because if you right. do it right, the timing is almost like as soon as you've maintained the car from the corner, it's time to be on the brake. By the time you get slow enough, you'll be in second gear and it's time to let off the brake and turn for the corner and go. It's a beautiful section when you get it right because it's really flowy because it's one right into the other on just a beautiful timing when you get it down, down right. Right. The next right you've been doing really well on, and if you can keep breaking early and taking that sharp line, you're going to eat people alive coming off that corner because everyone goes wide. Some people go into the trap. Okay. The next one. Um, the next one is that long right hander. It's another one that you're cheating the right way too early. You're, okay. You're you're not you're like uh, and and again it's like like that straight line you're just not staying wide and you're not turning either you're just cheating from the wide angle and making it a sharper corner um oh got it okay just come in later and get right and as soon as you get to the right at that moment if you have your car straight and you're back over to the grass on the right you can get very aggressive for that double left hander and the okay. aggressive is charge in and maybe a feather, a throttle if, you throttle if you feel that you're wide. But even if you, it's just a feather of the throttle is enough. It's not a sharp corner. The second left, you have to relax for, though. You can't charge that one or you go out into the wide wall. All right? So that yep. double left-hander, you attack the beginning, you coast the second, and then you can balance throttle yourself all the way through the next corner. And then it's charging for the left that's going to head you into that back stretch for the final chicanes. Um, again, if you can get your car right on that, you know, on that right hander where I'm saying balance throttle, if you can get your car all the way over to the right, that left becomes an attack corner for sure. Right. All right. And then just work on the double chicanes at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in the room. You're in the room. Um, all right. Why don't you, I'm going to watch you again. Um, I have a few minutes before lunch, so I'm going to go turn on the oven, actually. Why don't you go out, and I'll catch you by the time you're on your hot lap, and we'll see what you can okay. do. Okay. And I, I'm going to probably just be silent this time. We can talk after you've done a couple laps about what you've done. Sounds good. All right, cool, cool.
Jamal, I would do something like that. This is a personal coaching thing. Uh, I helped Chris get into sim racing about a month ago. Got him all dialed in with all of his gear. And he's been running private. And he had uh, hired me, in all honesty, to do some coaching for him. Um, and because of a few... Yeah. You, the double left-hander, you charge the second one, not the first. Your car is hurt, I would get a new car. <laughs> yeah. Go do it again. Yeah, I should have okay. I should have lifted. You know, there's that little area that you can lift in. On that double left-hander, lift right before you turn in, and I didn't. Right. So anyway, I was supposed to coach him on the Mazda a while ago, but we couldn't get it on the schedule. And so then he asked me if I'd be willing to coach him for this instead. Oh, uh, I got it. And then he said, you should air it so people can watch. And so he volunteered to make this a public thing. Otherwise, this was originally planned to be a completely private session. Just him and I not even broadcast. Chris said, go for it. Oh, you got a cut there. I'm oh. Sure. Who? Never mind. Another word that was going to come out of my mouth. That's all right. It's all right. Uh. No. That was beautiful then. That was your best time through there yet. Remember, you can back up the breaking point on that one. Yeah. I love that spot. I think that's just a really fun breaking zone right there. Right? And you did it beautifully. It's, and it's also very iconic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the corners that they always show at Le Mans. Keep it wide. Keep it wide. Stay wide. Stay wide. Stay wide. Ah, uh, hard break, hard break. Turn, 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 turn. You still... uh, you locked up the front end. All right. You did a better job of keeping it wide than you were just late on entry, but you were fine. I mean, I like that you kept it wide. You showed the balls. All right, same thing for this right-hander up and head. Keep that thing all the way to the left. Scrub a little speed with the brake. Coast it into the corner and find your balance throttle point to track through the corner. Late, 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 late. Okay, go. Balance throttle. Bring on the gas. Bring on the gas. Bring on the gas. Lift. Lift. Balance throttle. Balance throttle. Balance throttle. Stay right. Stay right. And you go. Uh, you a turn. Now you're going to get a cut there, probably. No. Okay. Now I want you aggressive on this next one. Don't break too early. Down to third and coast. Get it to third and coast. Brakes. Coast. Turn. Turn. Little bit of break. Little bit of break. 
Ah, uh, a little more, but yes. I want you that aggressive there, though. All right? Okay. You can charge that. You can charge in there. Keep it wide, lift, stay tight to the right, straight line break. Break, 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 third, second, cut, turn, 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 go. Yes, just like that, Chris. That line, find your speed. Coast, coast, go. Too wide, too wide. Don't go that wide. Yeah, I gotta cut. That's all right. Now I understand where I gotta. I could shave off. I think it's Billy Strange, or Stan, or is that you? Nope, I'm watching you. Focus on that left. Turn left. Earlier, earlier, earlier. One car length earlier. Very nice. Go, go. A little earlier on the right. Oh, oh, oh. It was looking really good on entry. Yeah, I saw that. Good job to control that speed at the end. You were hot, you did a good job of getting it slowed down, going late, but carrying speed. That was, for a missed corner, that was really good. You are not breaking anywhere near enough on that no. first scrub. Like, I can't even okay. hear your engine dropping RPM. It's almost like you're just coasting. Got when it. When you hit that 100 mark, you got to hit the brakes, and you got to slow it down to fifth gear. I'm shifting into fifth gear right before I turn in. Got it. Okay. And then you're going to be okay. at the right speed to then finish the corner off. this again no more of that shit Chris Phillips is driving. Michael. Chris Phillips is a new member of the patron team. He's been sim racing for about a month. 
got a lot of time in real life cars, but still switching to sim racing. Good, good. Yes, yes. That was beautiful. One ten. Turn, turn. Alright, hey, slow down real quick. You're on your outlap, right? Yeah. Okay. You were doing such a great job of getting it parallel to the curbing. On that case, it was the left, right? Uh, right. It's hanging you up a little bit for the right turn because you're getting both wheels over, which I'm fine with. But on the though she came before you got off the curbing sooner that one you let it hang you out there okay so, so again just don't be you're, you're you're timing the late apex beautifully but you still have to keep turning for that right sooner on that one the previous chicane you did the left because it's an opposite left right left um right you did perfectly anyway sorry i don't want to mess you up i just want to make sure you you're, you're no, getting no, no, no. so parallel and so straight it's just taking you a little far Nope. I mean, I, I, you know when a corner is right, when it feels right, and you come out of it and you're thinking, oh, but like that last corner, I knew I scrubbed speed somewhere. Nice exit. a break this time. You gotta break a little sooner for the first part. Okay. But that was the best one yet. A little late there. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. Little brake lock up didn't help. No, it's really critical to not lock them up here. All right, remember, we're gonna be late and we're gonna use balanced throttle to get us back over to the right side. There you go. Remember that for that next section. Off the gas. When I said that, I meant this one. Do the same thing here. A little too hot, but good, good, go, go. Turn, oh, let go, sorry. I screwed you up there. No. Uh, I did get a cut on that. Hey, Franco, we're doing very well. How about you, bud? Good line there. Good line there. Not bad. Go, go. Yes, yes, that's what you want. That was much better through all of that. You could have been on the gas an hour ago for that exit. Just a lift, get all the way to the right, straight line braking. A little bit later on turn in, but you're okay. You're okay, cut this corner, cut this corner. Get ready to turn and go, go, go. A little late, but you're all right. People do that all day long, you're okay. You can carry a little more speed. You're uh, holding the brake a little long. Your on point okay. is great, your off point is sooner. Not too wide, not too wide. There you go, there you go, go, oh! Ah, uh, yeah, I lost it. Ah. Uh, uh, that might have no. just been from too much brake going in. You loaded yep, up the Yep, that's nose. what it was from. Yep. Yeah. 
still being out to see when you get to the end of this trip. Right, on the entering this backstretch, George. Alright, 120. You're doing great on this corner. Just do what you've been doing. Yep. Oh, a little oil on the gas, but yes. It was just you got too. It, you could have been early. You could have been on the gas. Then it was just too much too soon. Gave you a little understeer. Oh, I'm glad you could make it, Franco. How is the new job? Happy Friday, buddy. One ten, Chris. Turn early for the right. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, dude, that was the one, Chris. Copy that, George. You can start going another 10, 20 yards deeper on your initial yeah. braking, but just I... creep it in a little bit though. You're doing really good there, so don't overshoot it. But you can go another 10. How about a optimal time of 401 dead? Nice. I need you to break earlier for that one. So hold on, right. stop, stop real quick, because this lap's now done. Um, you're like not even breaking until after turn in. Got it. It, it seems. I want you to get 10 yards past the 100 mark all the way on the left. Give me just break. a hint of break to get down to fifth and then turn in off the gas. As soon as you okay. get an apex, give me 10% of gas to get the car to track. Get it on the right and then get off the gas and hard on the brakes. Um, yeah, you're just, you're really uh, not braking hard enough for that one at all. And not even once have you got, got it. it over to the right side. So, yeah, a lot slower there and then bring it up to speed. Okay. Um, your next lap is going to be under that 402, but not, you know, but when you get a posted lap without a slow down your pace is way there be right back i'm checking on my bro cold tires yep Uh, patron team member uh, Chris Phillips he and I have been working on some private coaching or planning and he asked me to switch it to this to see if he could gain some speed on this uh, for the team maybe it's 
instead of what he was pursuing on his own. So he's doing real well. We've made some improvements. We haven't seen it on the leaderboard just yet because he's still putting it all together, but he was running 406 before we got here. And I can tell you that right now his next posted lap, if he gets one clean, will be no slower than a 402, probably closer to a 401 is my guess. Which is right in the ballpark where we want to get him today. Much more like that. Very good. Clean that up and you'll have it nailed. Yeah, saw that. You turned in early, it made you a little late. Easy. Now focus on getting to the right. Focus on getting to the right here. Get on the gas. All right, hard charging and third gear for this chicane. A little bit of gas at the end to help you straighten out. Shoot it, shoot it. Little touch of gas, touch, just touch, break. Oh, a little early, you're okay. Go, 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 go. Yes. Even if you hit that curb and get it straight and go. You don't even have to think about it. All right, show me what you got. That was good. Coast, coast, coast. You're on the brake a little too long there. Yeah. Go, go, go. Come on, girlfriend. Break too early? Way early. Way early. Focus on exit. You can't go uh, early. You, you cannot God, go kidding. early late. Yeah. The crime of crimes right there. Alright, Chris, I have um, to actually run and go get lunch. So yeah, I, I'm at a <laughs> just to let you know I'm at an optimal level of four minutes. Awesome. What I would get there. What I would recommend, I mean we have four hours on this room. What I would really recommend for you is to get out of the cockpit for a good half an hour yep and think about a couple of the spots that you know you can improve and just kind of visualize like right here like your perfect perfect line go 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 think through those uh right handers that you're having a little trouble with on the back stretch yeah uh, um and being a little more patient on turn in and then taking a sharper later angle to get to the right to set up the lefts in both of the cases of those corners. This aggression you're able to do here, you should be able to do everywhere. You're charging that corner like you own it. And you should be able to charge a few of these sections you're having trouble. As confident as you are through there, you should be able to get yourself that confident on this next one. Just break a little harder like you did the last time by. Turn late, turn sharp, get it right. Little gas to help. Too early, just a little too early. Straight line, off the brake and go. Oh, a little late, I saw that. Yep, yeah, I probably commanded you a little late, but I'm accounting for delay. <laughs> just like that, yep. 
All right, one more time through these right-handers, and I'm going to go to lunch. We'll bring the stream to yeah, an man, end. Yeah, no problem. Be patient on your turn, and it's late, and it's get all the way to the right late, not early. You do the break, and then you show the patience. Wait, go, go. There you go. Turn, turn, go. Go, 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 go. Go. Coast. Sharp. Balance throttle, but be late. Be late. You're too early. Too early, but okay. And as soon as you got the car turned, you can go, but you got to get it turned. Hard charge and then third gear. Get on the brake. Get off the brake early. Coast with speed. A little gas to get out. Got to make your apexes. Just a little slow down a second. Too early. Go! Even if you cream the curbs, you gotta go. Gotta go. Running late. Alright, Chris. Good luck. We'll, uh, we'll talk more later and tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you're looking good. You've made some uh, big improvements <laughs> when you're not making mistakes. You're making big improvements. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm down to, uh, four minutes, point two. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So that's two minutes, and then my lap time has decreased. My fastest lap time, even including we've been talking, and I've gotten a couple of, of, um, what's your mid-chickers? Um, off tracks and cuts. Off tracks and cuts. Um, I dropped it by a half a second. So right. yeah. I know that speed is there. I know the time is there. Um, yeah, I'm not not too worried about it, but I like you in my ear, so it's a good thing. Right on, right on. Well, I think uh, right. just getting a little blood flow and think about it while not in the car and come back, and I think you're going to find three, four seconds once you just get out and concentrate right. and focus. So, yeah, well done. I, I think thanks we, so much. I think we made the changes. You just need to put it down. Yep. All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Thank you all for watching, and uh, maybe you learned something out there as well. Like uh, Jesse Fox says, it's always nice just to have a second set of eyes watching what you're doing, even for the best of the best. A little second set of eyes will go a long way, making sure you're doing what you think you're doing. So hopefully this did help you. We'll be back and do more of these before the big race. This is the Simpit. I'm Sean Cole. Chris Phillips, thank you for being the guinea pig, and I'll thank see you. you on the track. All right, bye.